just say August 12th and everybody in Charlottesville knows what you're talking about. It's still absolutely on everybody's minds there. It's like a one lane road, it's relatively small and there were hundreds of people so they, they took up the whole street. Uh. Right when we came to this intersection, People were, you know, we were happy, we were cheering, and it was like, which way do we go? Because we could have went left, we could have went right, and they go, go left, go left. So it was like a group unison, like, we were together, we were one, Extremely we were happy. Extremely happy and jubilant and, you know, whatever you want to say. Made that left-hand turn, and I was talking to somebody beside me, and I heard a bunch of yelling up ahead. Heard him coming up next to me and then saw sort of a a flash because he was moving at speed. He was flying and I just pushed Risa. Oh, and I tried to jump him back in the truck and it's boom. Right. He had backed up the hill so that he could come barreling down the street at speed to do as much damage as he could. And then it was just, just pick up the camera and try to follow it. A girl was leaning over me and I heard, uh, you gotta hold your head together. And that's when I felt the blood and, you know, I, I could feel I was gassed open. I was right on top of uh, Heather Heyer, which I didn't know at the time. I was sitting there counting uh, the chest compressions that they were doing on the girl beside me. And I remember counting to 29. I got hit right here. I got hit right here. It's still hard to look at. I've seen it so much now. In that picture of me I mean, that went all over the world, yeah. Heather's actually in that picture. That's her. That's her mouth, her nose, and her ass. There are all these little details around the photo. There's all these sunglasses and shoes that have popped off of people that are just flying through the air. There are water bottles and water spraying. There are signs like around the edges that say things like love and solidarity. And there were even other people being impacted on both edges of the frame. There were people hitting the ground. Um, and it's just, there's a lot to look at in one picture. I think that's probably why I cry every time I, I talk about it, because, you know, why was it me and not her that got to get up and walk away? And that, I mean, I was right on top of her, like, literally touching death. I feel like I have to carry her with me. Heather always spoke the truth. She didn't care if you liked it or not. Why should people in my community have to go through that or feel like that? Why should people be able to freely walk around this city and not meet resistance? I don't know if things are better than they were a year ago or if they're worse than they were a year ago, but I think that weekend was, if nothing else, um, a window into this world that people maybe either didn't know existed or didn't want to acknowledge existed. I can't believe we still have to have this fight and people are still dying, you know, to tell people life matters as much as the next person. Mm -hmm.